Welcome. You're listening to Making Relationships Work. We're a company focused on women and their marriage. We lead and teach women just like you how to grow into and access whenever you need to your wise woman self, the part of you who is deeply connected to your purpose, your innate wisdom and your husband and family. We teach women in marriages how to rebuild trust and connection, to work through conflicts, no matter how deep, no matter how painful, and to lead your marriage to a place where the two of you experience marriage mastery. This podcast is about learning the systems and techniques that truly work to reconnect you back into your marriage so that you can experience the freedom that comes with a masterful marriage. Since this podcast is totally free, if you're getting tons of value and you want to support us and make sure that you get more of this good stuff, subscribe below and rate and review our podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hello, women making marriages work. Hello, making relationships work YouTube channel and podcast. It's so nice to be here with you tonight. We are talking about the holidays. It's time. It's that time of year. Halloween has finished and all of a sudden there's an influx of invitations to potlucks, end of class, end of term class things at school, all of the holiday parties, all of the festivities that are coming your way in the next couple of months have begun. And look, my friends, we need to talk about what your experience is going to be like in these next six weeks. Because here's the thing, most people, most women in marriages are carrying the mental load of the holidays, the cognitive load, we call it, and that takes an extra burden from in terms of resources. And if you're in this group or listening to this podcast, your marriage is likely feeling under pressure. And so adding more of the load to you whilst your marriage is under pressure is this whole other thing that your happily married friends can't relate to. And so we need to talk about not only how you're going to survive this holiday period, but how you're going to thrive, how you're going to have holidays that feel joyful and wonderful and uplifting and connected and calm and kind at least 80% of the time, because women leading the holidays who carry a burden of the load of the holidays without feeling connected in this kind of way to their husband usually become resentful. They become snappy and irritable, overloaded from stress and overloaded from a lack of being noticed and appreciated and a lack of feeling loved and valued for their contribution. And most women, it's a bit like childbirth, forget how hard the holidays are until they get there. And my loves, it's November. It's the beginning of November. I want you to know that in a few short weeks, you are going to be at the fire. (laughs) (laughs) of the holiday period and so we've got to prepare you you literally have to know how to do things differently so you get a different experience okay I want you to know what the holidays can feel like from a different perspective okay so the first thing we're going to do is to tell you the we (laughs) I'm going to do is to tell you to go and listen to my masterclass because it has five shifts that allow you to make differences in your everyday life starting immediately, which means you're going to have new skills to throw at this. Okay, so I'm going to ask Leilani to put the link below so that you can grab it and sign up and watch it. That's the first thing. The second thing I'm going to do is to remind you of your power, to remind you of your matriarchal status, to remind you that even when you're overloaded and stressed and overcommitted and under-resourced, you can choose to have a different experience. I'm going to remind you of the power of you, of who you are. Yes? So there's a reason why you're the leader of this festivity period in your home. 
and that's because you're the leader of the home. You're the cultural leader, you're the family leader, you're the marriage leader, you're the leader of yourself. So you get to set the tone of what you want. You get to lovingly and kindly and connectedly show your family how to do it a bit differently so that the the group of you or the couple of you, the two of you, get to really have a holiday period that fills you up rather than drains you or depletes you, where you're overwhelmed and in that stressed, snarky, bitchy, mean, resentful, bitter space. So I don't need you to do this from a perfectionistic lens, and I don't want you to, because when you add perfectionism to the holidays, you're literally adding more stress. And we just covered what stress does. It leads to (laughs) bitchiness, narkiness, snarkiness, resentfulness. It leads to all the things that make you feel terrible and show up badly to the people that you love. So the first thing you've got to do is get rid of the perfectionism. Stop with the perfect gifts. Stop with the perfect decoration. Stop with the perfect potluck. Stop it. Instead, say, how do I make space to decompress? How do I make space to lead and enjoy myself? Because you've got to understand the power of you is such that when you are having a good time, everybody in your family has a good time. When your energy is happy and uplifting, it encourages others to join you. But when you're overwhelmed, when you're snarky and mean or resentful and bitter or overwhelmed and exhausted and depleted, then those around you can't lift you. You're too heavy. You have to lift yourself. And how do you do that? You drop the perfectionism. You drop it. You drop it like it's hot because it is hot. It's actually terrible for you. And you stop scrolling on Instagram and Facebook and watching all of those perfectly posed everythings when none of it is real. And you get really deeply connected to why you're celebrating the holidays in the first place. And that's because you are a family. You are a family of people where there is nobody more important than that little group of you. That is what you're celebrating, not how well you decorate the house or what your potluck dish is or what your presents are. So I want you to stop that because the last thing you want to have is a holiday period full of disconnectedness, full of narkiness and boorishness and haggardness. We're kind of holding on and surviving. That's terrible for you. I don't want you to have that. Now, about this time, most women say to me, well, how am I supposed to have that and lead this when my husband doesn't show up or he is angry and resentful himself or, you know, we've really got this terrible time and so our kids are anxious or depressed or avoiding avoiding us because we haven't been good leaders. And to that I say, it's the beginning of November and you and I can move mountains in that time. And so if you need help to lead a different life through the holiday periods and beyond for the rest of your life, you're going to want to book a call with us. Because I don't want you to have this Christmas experience the way that you've always done it again. I want you to break that cycle. I was talking with a mentor of mine today and we were talking about clients, of course. And one of the things we talked about was what kind of childhood did you receive from your parents? What were the holidays like? from your parents? Were they connected? Were they out in nature? Were they loving? Were they 
<laughs> Android, <laughs> you know, unplugged. What were they like? Were they full of family? Were they small family? Were they visiting the elderly? What was it like for you? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it horrible? Was it amazing? What was it? And then we started talking about, well, if your kids, if you're, you know, if you imagine that you have kids who are 40 and you ask them to, uh, to answer what their childhood was like at Christmas, what would they say about you and your leadership as a parent during these holiday times? And what would they be trying to do differently than what you have given them for their own kids? Because 40-year-olds usually have a young family, not always, but very often. And so I say to you, what, what legacy are you giving your kids when it comes to the holidays? What version of yourself will they remember? The harried, the stressed, the late, perpetually overwhelmed, disorganized, unhappy, disconnected version? Or do they get that they get ease and grace and joy and flow and connection and love and sharing and community. What do they get to remember you by, your children? How will they remember your holiday periods? What will they want to take out of that and give to their own children? What will they say, there is no way my kids are ever going to have dot, 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 the way that I did when I was a kid? These are the things that are the very most important for you to be thinking about at the beginning of November as we start the process of the holidays. I really want you to know that you can change anything. And so really, here's the thing. You have, you have the opportunity to do it differently, to gift a legacy of joy and connection in the holidays to gift a legacy of sharing time, special sacred time that we don't get during the year so much together in the holidays with family or with friends who are family with each other. And I want you to have an experience that fills your cup, your cup, your husband's cup, if you have children, their cups, where everybody finishes the holidays full of belonging to each other, full of feeling accepted and valuable and worthy of this family that they're living in. Because what often happens is that these peak stressful times, we teach our children that they're annoying and too much. We teach our husbands that he, does, he doesn't do anything, so he is very unvaluable to us. And we, underneath it all, just really truly want to be loved and supported ourselves because we've taken on too much of the load and we've been unable to resolve these long-term problems in our marriage which are very visible during these heightened stressful cognitive mental load type times of the calendar year and so all of the stuff you've been avoiding this year in your marriage is going to become visible when you add the stress and overwhelm of the holidays if you approach it in that way. And really, either way, you're going to need to do some work because if you are able to dial down the stress that you're feeling, then your husband will still have the issues he's got with you that the two of you haven't been able to repair and recover from. And you will still have the, your issues with him that the two of you haven't repaired and recovered from. So that needs to be dealt with. Second of all, if you are in the holiday period and you can't maintain your sense of connection and kindness and calmness to yourself and to your, your husband and children, then they are going to experience a holiday period that's terrible as well. And so what kind of legacy is that? And so what I really want for you is to be able to work through it differently. I want you to down-regulate yourself so that you can enjoy. I want you to give up perfectionism. Oh, my gosh, do I want you to give that up? And I certainly want you to have new skills. And the new skills comes through the masterclass, and also it can come through this phone call. So we do a free, free 45-minute breakthrough call where the goal is to give you a breakthrough, where you can really get clear on why 
it is so hard in your marriage and what to do about it. Now, sometimes we'll invite you in to do the program that we run, but only if you're a good fit and only if we know that what we do is exactly what you need. If it isn't, we won't invite you in, or if you're not a good fit for us, we won't invite you in, but we will make sure you know exactly where to go to get the help that you need. So you can see that call as an assessment that allows you to get really clear on what's not working and why. That's why it's 45 minutes. Now it's free because it's part of the purpose that I have in terms of creating and cultivating this community. I want this community to get value from belonging here. And it's free because I want everybody to know where to go to get what they need. So you can book that call. But I'm going to say to you, we are very, very busy this time of year. And so if you're not really sure that you're going to do something about it, where you want to be the change that you want to see, if you're kind of just paying lip service, don't book the call. We have so many women who need us. Don't take their place unless you are determined to do something better. And then we want to work with you and we want to help you and tell you and help you with what the next right thing is for you. Okay, so only for the resourceful and the committed are these calls, because if you're taking it and you're going to cancel at the last minute or just not show up, then you're taking someone else's space and they need that space, my loves. You've got to understand it's like a triage, this service that I offer. The people that call me really need it. They're in a lot of pain. They don't know how to do it differently. If they could, they would. And our job, why I founded this whole thing, is to show you how to do it differently. Okay? So this is the plan for Christmas. This is the plan for the holiday period. You're going to do it differently. You're going to be mindful of the legacy you're creating for your children and the legacy you're creating in your marriage. You're going to think ahead to when your kids are 40 and how they will describe the life and Christmases and holiday periods with you and what they will say. And then you're going to start the commitment process to doing it differently. And you're going to look over your life and look for ways to make more space, to put more meaning in, to show up different, to be calm, connected and kind and loving. And if you're missing the skills that you need to be able to resolve the past hurts that mean that that's not going to work, you're going to watch my masterclass or you're going to book a call with us and we're going to show you what to do and how to do it. And most of all, my loves, you're going to give yourself the greatest gift, the gift of belonging to a family that adores you and a husband who loves you, where the two of you know how to do it and work through hard times together, where it's the two of you against the world. You're a we, not two me's, yeah? I want you to know what that feels like and we can get that done before these holidays really get going. So now's the time, my loves. You don't want to be hitting January and realising that this has just been another shit fight of a year. You don't want that. You don't deserve that. And I don't want that for you. Let us change the legacy of what you're creating in your life and in your family and certainly in your marriage. We can do that. All right, my loves. I love you. I'll see you soon. And uh, let's have some happy holidays. Why wouldn't we want to have the happiest holidays? We really could. Let's be the type of women who create those holidays. I love you. I'll see you soon. Thank you for tuning into today's show. If you're feeling fired up and you're ready to grow and you want to know more about how to do that, here is what I want you to do now. I want you to watch my marriage masterclass. This masterclass will show you how my clients have turned their struggling marriages into thriving marriages, even without their husband's buy-in. How my clients have gone from cycles of poor communication, disconnect and loneliness to being teammates and soulmates with their husbands again, even after they've already tried everything. And the proven system my clients use to start transforming their marriages in minutes, not years because life is too precious to waste one more minute in an unhappy and unfulfilling marriage. So if this is what you're looking for, I want you to click
click the link below and take a look at my masterclass.